Renovating a Mary Beam Engine, Part 2. As I mentioned in Part 1, this is an exceptionally well-made Mary Beam Engine, and it's very nice indeed, but it does need some renovation. When an engine such as this has been stood for many years as an ornament, it will have accumulated grime, which is present in all the corners, everywhere on the engine, so use some white spirit to remove it. Using white spirit is recommended. Never ever use cellulose thinners, otherwise you will of course remove the paint. What the white spirit does is removes the dust, it removes the oil, and it also removes the residue from people polishing the engine in the past using metal polish. This metal polish residue is usually quite difficult to get rid of. You see it a lot on boilers where people have cleaned the boiler banding. But a couple of applications of white spirit will first of all loosen it and then remove it. I'm using a fine paintbrush as you can see here to get into all the corners. White spirit is quite a good degreaser. Not the best degreaser out there I don't think. But it does degrease so don't forget once you've covered the engine in white spirit you need to lubricate the lubrication points before running. You can see how the white spirit is cutting through all the oil residue on the crankshaft here. Here you see me applying some white spirit to the connecting rod. In various places on this engine, there are small specks of white paint. These have probably come from a ceiling that's been painted in the past, when someone forgot to cover up the engine. So this is emulsion paint, and you can see some here on the bed plate. This emulsion paint will not be removed by the white spirit, so you have to remove it manually. And the best thing I've found to do this with is a piece of mahogany and just generally scrape it away. Be very careful not to remove the original paint. This can rapidly become a very tedious, laborious job. It's not the most interesting job in the world, but it does need doing if you want the engine to look much better when you've finished the renovation. Even if you're going to be repainting the engine, it's most important to get rid of all the dirt. New paint over dirt is not the best idea. Sometimes the residue can be quite stubborn to get off. You have to give it more than one application of the white spirit. As you can see here on the beam, there was a particularly stubborn bit of metal polish residue there. But with a couple of applications, it disappeared. I am actually going to repaint parts of this engine. I will colour match the paint and I'll show how I do that later and use it as a kind of touch-up paint rather than repainting the entire engine. Around the base of the engine is a particularly nice brass frame. This is mitred and soft soldered together but it's been damaged in one of the corners. So here I'm using some wet or dry sandpaper to remove the oxidisation and then back to the brasso to get the finish. When I look at this repair, it's not terribly well done and it's not very strong. So I may take it on myself to repair this properly. More about that later. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.